Refugee chased at Dougieville. A cave world illuminator named Shun calls you from nearby. He's being chased by tribes people of the Catcom of the Prairie. This guy's name is Catcom, who's like literally here, I think. Like in the area with Veridi. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. He's 24 years old. If you accept, you have to fight off the tribes people, which is one penitent. Dude, absolutely, we can handle one dude. You're completely naked. You're wearing pants. Yes, please get into the base. <laughs> We have a couple of turrets. They'll be able to handle one penitent, whoever the hell that is. Cohen, not Kokom. And uh, Rudy's just going to start building. This is not an airlock. This is just a trap lock. We're going to build some traps and then lure the enemies into the hallway if there are enemies here. So what we're going to do is really quickly build another door for escape purposes. And we will eventually build the traps. Right now, we just need to build the room with uh, with a roof, etc., etc. So, Sean, what are you doing? Shooting, melee, construction, you're a great planter, good with animals, good at mining, good at research, good at medical. You're an undergrounder, and you're beautiful. You're a beautiful, beautiful boy. A raid! One dude with a duster, a cloth toque, and a knife. Should be easy enough. Mustache, what are you doing? You're butchering. No, 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 no. We're going to do a quick little restricted zone management here. Everyone stay in the zone. The auto zone. Wait, 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 wait. Restrict, restricted. Thank you. Shun. Really quickly. <laughs> really quickly. It'll take a minute. Let's get your orders set up. You're going to be doing research. You're going to be plant cutting. You're going to be growing. You're going to be a, a, a very good planter. You should be the warden. You also have a love for doctoring, so if we need a doctor, I might make you a doctor. You should also be mining. That frees up Mustache, who doesn't need to do the mining anymore. You should definitely do some mining. Which should happen after planting. And for Mustache... Cooking, hunting, constructing, growing, planting, hauling at the end. Seems good. So he's going to get into the base. Let's go back to Veridi. He's chopping down trees. Let's go back to Shun. <laughs> You're resting. I mean, I would like it if Veridi finished the constructions first, but if he, if he wants to rest first, he can rest first. Um, what I will do really quickly, though, is make some horseshoe pins. I haven't finished the construction on that, then he can go to bed. Just because I want that... You're not assigned as a constructor. No wonder you're not building any of these. You're just delivering. There you go. Now you can play. <laughs> Shun, do you have a gun? We do not have a gun. You're going to get a knife. Mustache, you're gonna wake up, hang out by the turrets. You're gonna get the knife, you're gonna go here. You're gonna get the knife, you're gonna go here. This guy only has a knife anyways, we should be able to handle him. I shot Mustache. Actually, never mind, you missed him completely. <laughs> Alright, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Everyone, stop doing your thing. Shun all the corpse, all the knife. Then you can eat. Good job, mustache. And Shun, you killed a man. So Verity is sleeping. When he wakes up, he'll eat. Cohen, Cohen is going to be a little bit hungry when we're when we're done with this. But I want to make sure we actually actually have some defensive constructions before we activate whatever's down here. It might be a, a rabbit animal. It might be a person or a raider. But we also are going to need a base anyways, because we have to heal him before he, we can travel. He's a male space refugee, age 16. We'll, we'll name the new guy once we get set up. Dude, he's already, like, working. I love it. We'll name the new guy once we get set up, but right now I, I, I do want to... ...handle the situations that we've made for ourselves. We're gonna have four people pretty soon, I think. That's awesome. I knew it. 
He loves the horseshoes. A new corpse. Yeah, add it to the corpse pile. Now Shun... Mustache has fixated his rage on Shun. He will follow Shun around, hurling insults. This happened because of poor mood, because of an unsightly environment. Oh, Shun. Sorry, buddy. Also, manage outfits. Get rid of that tainted clothing now. Shun. After you eat your meal, dump the tainted flak jacket. And mustache, I'll have you remove your stuff later. Actually, we can just clear it. He'll uh, remove his clothing later. Viridi, I, I don't like him removing his flak jacket. I might just force him to wear it. Um, his mood is still relatively high. Yeah, there he goes. He put it, put it down. Put it back on. Wow, he's bad at horseshoes. <laughs> He was kind of bad at horseshoes, huh? All right, what is your, uh, what's your stats like? You're also very stressed. I guess you were insulted times two. You saw a lot of corpses. It's gonna expire, like, immediately, though. And you're cold. It's because your safe range is 48 degrees Fahrenheit, dude. I don't know what to do with you. He's a horrible cook. He's a planter and a researcher but he needs clothing. Um, mustache has the parka on, because it's forced. This guy's a duster on. I'd rather not go in there and, and re-up his uh, penalties, but we need some clothing for this guy. He's wearing a t-shirt and pants. <laughs> don't, don't dump your pants. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ugh, but I don't want him to have a break either. He's cold, insulted, awful bedroom, unsightly, unsightly environment. Disturbed sleep. But he's comfortable. He's comfortable, that's the important part. Cloth toque. You know what, do you not have a hat on? Okay, put on the cloth toque. You're gonna have to live with it. Oh yeah, corpse cave. There is a big corpse cave. Indoors. Good. We have an indoor environment. The torch will keep it slightly warm. We could put a campfire campfire in there. We probably should. But the first thing we need to do now that we've done all this is get some spike traps set up. And then build a couple more. Oh. Wall requires train that can support medium because it's just mud. Dude, I picked a horrible spot to build my little house, huh? okay. I honestly don't think we're going to need more than like a couple of traps anyways. Let's just get those set up, built. Then we'll go save Cowan, who is currently suffering from trivial mal malnutrition. He also needs some rest, but, you know, we'll deal with what we can. Build a sleeping spot. This is going to be medical. It's going to be like one more day before we can rescue Cowan is uh, malnutrition. It's not gonna kill him, and we have a ton of food anyways. And by a ton of food, I mean five. <laughs> well, we will need to do some hunting, I think. But we'll worry about that as soon as we build these traps, because the traps, I, I think they need to be built, in my opinion. Cleaning rock rubble. You should never be cleaning. If you're cleaning, it means I need to give you some more bills. Do your people not trigger traps? They do, they have a very small chance of doing it though. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see what it is, but that's why you, if you're building traps, you wanna build ways around the traps. That way you don't set them off and hurt yourself. Shun is in a daze. That's fine. Being in a daze is actually not that bad because then you'll come out of it and you will be better. Because right now he's in pain, he's hurt. I don't know how he got hurt. Human teeth. Mustache nipped Shun with his teeth, biting his right leg without emotion. When did this happen? <laughs> he must have raged out at poor Shun.
No wonder he's pissed. All right, Veridi, you, you re we really need to get him. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna have you finish the last trap and then go get Cohen, because we gotta get him healed up as soon as possible. Shun has gotten sick from an infection from his right leg due to being bit by mustache. And unfortunately, because he is in a daze, I can't treat him until he passes out. So Shun is probably going to die, honestly. When did you fucking bite him? That's what I want to know. Yeah, we um we might be in a position right now where okay, yo, chop down the tree. Where Shun is going to die because we can't treat him until he he calms down and Yeah. Now, I could arrest him, but if he puts up a fight, I only have Mustache to defend myself. He could knock out Mustache, and then Mustache could be lying on the ground outside freezing to death. So, really, what do you do? I think what I do is I wait, and we just see if he lives. Because, you know, if Shun dies, so be it. Look, I know you want to sleep. We gotta go for Cohen now. We gotta fucking feed this guy. He's so, he's so hungry. He also needs some rest. He's also really pissed. <laughs> Badly malnourished. And there's an ambush. Your colonists have been ambushed by two people. One with a steel knife, one with a gun. This is why we put up the traps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the doors. I should have done this earlier. And we're gonna have our dude open the doors specifically so that we can get the enemies to- Oh, there's three of them! This is why we put up the freaking traps, man. If, if, if we can kill a couple of them, they might flee. But at the same time, I'm very scared. So what we're gonna do is while we're waiting, make hay while the sun's up. Whoa, God, they're shooting. Okay, get inside. Or d don't get inside, just get over here. Hi. You don't have it, you don't have it. We can give you a gun. No, it's fine, it's fine. Here comes Thorgan. He's, he's not going, he's not taking the bait. He's lighting the building on fire. It's okay, we put it out immediately. Here comes French. He got tagged. Oh, he got tagged big time. They're, they're not wearing armor, I think. He got tagged big time. Here comes Thorgan. Ooh, he doesn't like that, does he? Oh no, they're lighting my horseshoes on fire. Here comes Sophia. No armor, I don't think. Dude, no, 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 dude, what the hell? Veridi, oh no. Why did you go through the door? Oh my god, they're gonna freaking get him. You might fight your way in, dude. Get inside the building. Oh, the fucking AI screwed me here. Okay, 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 okay. He's coming in. He's coming in. He's not dead. He's very wo wounded though. He also has asthma. Why does everyone in this world have asthma? Veridi. You have to kill him. You're a freaking brawler. They're fleeing. Oh my lord. Ten to your wounds. Hold on. He is a doctor. Self ten enabled. Ten to your wounds. So he doesn't bleed out. Because if, if we bleed out, we're, we're dead. Holy cow. I didn't expect three of them. I did not expect three of them. He also... A French passed out. I guess the trap got him. 
So we're going to get a little bit of extra food from this at least. Oh my freaking lord, that was close. Okay, we need to make a corpse pile of human corpses. No, 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 go ahead and allow that. Get rid of the knife. Yes, Psychite T. Holy cow. Why are you a bra- Oh, you have nine melee. Man, thank God for the melee. And the flak vest, <laughs> honestly. All right, all, all we need to do is we need to make sure he doesn't bleed out. He needs to tend to his wounds so that he doesn't lose all of his blood. The AI, like, screwed me because I wanted him to go towards the door. He went outside the building. He had to fight his way in. Transport pod crash. A cave world illuminator named Zebra is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives, she will be wounded. She's an enemy of the red rogues. You can capture her for recruitment or slavery purposes. You are dead in six hours. Mustache is idle, which I didn't realize. Mustache, you, mustache, you are going to rescue this person. No, 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 no. Actually, do I want to capture them? I could capture them and then and then let him leave. I think. Okay, mustache, capture. Needs to be prison bed. Mustache, capture. We're gonna probably, you know, leave this person, or let, let them leave, I should say. But right now, we just need to uh, get him inside. If we can make it in time. Dead in six hours, five hours. They'll be fine. Viridi, slowly healing. He's no longer in immediate danger. Even if he passes out, I think he'll be fine. But the uh, wounds are being slowly cleared. He's not a good doctor, which is why this is taking a while. All right. He's also in a lot of pain, but that's okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now, was that... Moderate malnutrition. Was that the ambush? I, I'm willing to bet it was. But just in case it wasn't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down one more tree, rebuild one trap, and then we're going to go pick up Cohen. I'm pretty sure that was the... Uh, the ambush that I was expecting. But in case it wasn't, I just want to have at least one trap on hand. Now, d my dude is going to need a lot after this. Food, R&R, sleep. But he's he's got shit to do, man. It's a mustache. You have already tended to her runes. 21% recruitment difficulty, 5 resistance. That is a recruit if I've ever seen one. And they are slothful, but they can still get work done. So, I want them. Viridi has gotten sick from infection. Oh, come on! Okay, treat your infection. Shun, you know, Shun hasn't died from infection, but it's at 44% uh, progression, 32% immunity. If Shun doesn't get into a bed soon, he is going to die. And Viridi might die now because of his infection. So we need him to patch himself up. Is there any heal root nearby, actually? 67% grown. 95% grown. You want to go for it? Viridi, get yourself some heal root because I don't see any medicine. Oh, God, it takes so long to do that. Mustache is idle, probably because I left him in the restricted zone. Dude, having all of these people out on their own is screwing me a little bit. Now, please give me med You gave me medicine. Why can you not tend to yourself? Treat your infection. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I should have stripped him when he passed out. Okay, the infection is doing its thing. Get the trap. You know what, actually, really quickly. Drop a meal. Eat it. Get the trap. Offer help. In that order. Shun, what are you doing? You're running around, you're gonna die. Zebra! Mustache is gonna be a warden. I hate it, but... 
Unfortunately, he is the only person at base who can warden. Try to recruit. Let's see what, what the progression looks like here. Chunks of the spacecraft have landed nearby. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Resistance should go from 5.0 to 4.6. That's not going to take too long to hit zero. Shun is still running around. Verity slowly building the trap. He needs rest, but we... At this point, here's the thing. I want to get Kohen on his feet because if Verity dies, I want to at least have someone who can do stuff. So, unfortunately, this is how this is going to work. Helping Kohen. You have seven left. Okay, haul the body. No, 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 no. You gotta finish the trap, dude. It, just in case there's another ambush. Help the 16 year old. He's only 16 years old. Help him. Be prepared to run. Rescue him. All we need to do is feed him, patch up his wounds, he'll be fine. No, 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 no. Feed him because he has not eaten in like four days. Then. Cannot pick up too heavy, strip, consume. Can I not haul? Human-like corpses. I guess I just need to like, drop a couple of things? Strip, consume. Oh, he's not assigned as Hollings. I just want the bodies to get out of here. Haul him. Haul him. There we go. Nintend. To row, Cohen. You also need to tend to yourself, but we need to tend to freaking everybody. In fact, you know what? Go to sleep. You need to rest. You do have an infection. It's progressing extremely quickly, so that means it's probably going to kill you. And Shun is probably going to die as well. Shun also has a medical emergency. Their untreated infection is going to kill them. I again, I could have probably arrested them, but if they knocked out Mustache, then we would be actually totally fucked. So I would rather have Shun die. This is still a very dangerous situation with Veridi Cohen. And this is also why we don't give people names immediately. <laughs> Infection's progressing quickly. Hypothermia on Shun. I mean, until he passes out, I can't do anything. Ooh, also... You are not doing well, my friend. You're gonna move here. You are going to take off the tainted parka. And you're gonna sleep. That seems like a very good idea. You desperately are in need of some mood buffs, but I don't know how to give you those right now, so go to sleep. Oh, 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 oh. I seem to have a few items to trade. Mustache, I'm sorry. I know I literally said you needed to get some sleep, but you might be able to actually rescue Shun now. I, I don't think you're going to be able to keep him alive because his infection is at 91% and his immunity is 58%. You know what? Honestly, go to sleep. He's a lost cause. Shun is dead. The days when someone has an infection is a kill. It, it, it's death unless you can actually um, get him up. So, unfortunately, we're just going to have to deal with it. Mind shattering pain. Um, tend to Cohen. I need to get Cohen into a position where he can leave if uh, Verity dies. We also need to feed him, then tend to him. Then we need to find more heal root. Ideally stuff that is 100%. Because you've got an infection, my dude. Which is probably gonna kill you! <sighs> Gain two people, lose two people. That's Rimworld for ya. 73, 64. Well, the one up here that's at like 92%, that's probably our best bet for medicine for Viridi. He needs to rest a little bit more, but. Yep. 
Shun's dead. Go ahead and, uh, oh my god, we're also like completely out of food. Consume a meal, tend to Kohen, tend to yourself. Man, this is, this is not good. He might live through the infection, but he has to go get medicine for himself, so get the heal root cut. Shun deceased cause of death mustache. You're not wrong, actually. Tribes people are leaving because it's dangerous. Fuck, dude. Psychite binge Veridi. This is not the time. His infection is now untreated because I tried to go for medicine. There's only four Psychite, but God damn it. So, okay, new priority. Freaking get Cohen up on his feet so that he can make it back to base. If he doesn't starve to death, because we only have one food. Well, we have three food. At least he's high. But yeah, the infection's gonna kill him. Cohen is just on the ground, rolling around. Minor break risk. Shun is dead. I mean, I know we're gonna have to bury him at some point, but... Maybe we, maybe we can get Zebra. You know, if we get Zebra, maybe we'll be okay. You have to build a grave. You are gonna build it right here. Why is this not diggable? Oh, it's rough marble. Makes a lot of sense. You're gonna build a grave here. Or at least, I mean, we should have actually probably hauled Shun back, I suppose. You're gonna bury him. Don't consume him! Bury him. You're gonna have a major break risk. Your My friend Shun died. You know, maybe he wouldn't have died if you could have helped him. Um, by the way, Cohen is going to die because Cohen still has malnutrition and they're still passed out because they have cracks and bruises. And this stuff is going to take a long time to heal. 15 days? Is, is that what that means? I don't know, but until Veridi wakes up or snaps out of his, um, his psychite binge and does more tending, Cohen's not going to wake up. Viridi's gonna wake up. I think everyone except for Mustache is gonna die again. Resistance, 4.3. <sighs> and this hair is probably gonna eat my food too. Caravan lost. Because Cohen and Viridi are both out. Well. Ver uh, wait, Viridi is no longer binging on Psychite. He passed out. That's what happened. He passed out and then it's just like, gone. Dude. <laughs> Zebra, um, it's me and you, okay? I'm gonna give you a light, because I feel like you should have a light. But it's me and you. <sighs> Dude, if there wasn't three invaders who ambushed us, he's in a daze. At least he's, you know, okay inside. He does have hypothermia. As long as he stays inside, though, he'll be fine. But if he passes out outside, he will die. He also might, you know, run out of food. Just, I mean, at this point, we're just on speed three, just waiting. Luckily, we got turrets up. <laughs> I really didn't expect there to be three raiders who ambushed me. I, like, I would have expected one, you know, because I only had one person. But no, they had three. Good lord. I mean, I really hope that he, he doesn't pass out. If he passes out without food... Ideally, he would pass out from exhaustion, and then I can move him to get some food and eat. But if he passes out outside and he has hypothermia, you know, I don't know what can happen. He can probably get KO'd pretty easily. 
he doesn't have his parka on. I, I decided to take it off, so hopefully he doesn't walk outside. I don't think I can, you know, lock the doors and keep him in. I think he'll still walk through them. But luckily he is staying inside, it seems like. Maybe because he doesn't have warm clothes on. <laughs> He's good. He's good. Catharsis. It's been done. Go eat. The game will not let Mustache die. <laughs> oh. You have to get Zebra on our team, though. That's got to be, like, number one priority right now. So as soon as she's done resting, you're going to talk to her. You're going to chat. You're going to feed. In that order. Mustache needs to get his social skills trained up. Ding! 4.2. <sighs> well. This game is harsh. Reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. Game is harsh. Man, I mean, if we had medicine, I would have brought medicine to treat Verdi's infection. Then maybe he wouldn't have died. He probably still would have passed out, but... Man... The AI screwed me. He was just like trying to walk through the building I had constructed and just having him walk through the door outside. That killed him. Because he got hit like four times in that in that moment. Damn it. Well, is what it is. So Mustache is going to be doing a lot of cooking. There are muffalos on the map. We could go for them, but we have we have so much food right now that needs to be cooked. Um, although I suppose we should put the orders on. We'll need food. We're, we're always going to need food. And honestly, because he's spending a lot of time uh, just cooking and handling zebra here, we're going to need to do something with our time, so we might as well hunt when we have the time. All that inside. Do, 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 do. Wait, Muffalo? Muffalo. Muffalo, 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 Muffalo. Why don't the animals eat the corpses? They eat my meals in the fridge. They don't eat the bodies. I suppose I should give him a, uh, a mining order now because we're going to need it. All right, Moustache, hunting a muffalo, have fun. He does have hypothermia and he's freezing. So you know what? I have decided that you will not be hunting muffalo. You are going to be coming back to base. Construction is fine, you can construct. Could also maybe craft that tribal wear. I don't know how effective it would be, but I mean, we got like nothing else going on right now. It's not gonna take too long either. Clearing area for plants. Uh, I think it's too early to be doing that. There's more important things to be done. 14 Fahrenheit. Okay, if I, if I have you wear this, he has to take off his shirt and pants. It gives him worse protection. Lovely. Wear those. Wear those. Yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's like exactly equal. What if we make it out of like muffalo fur? Blue fur. Insulation cold 36. This was made out of plain leather which is a insulation of 28. I mean, it's probably not even worth the effort, honestly. Unless I can make a tailor's bench. I can make a tailor's bench. Need wood? Well, it just so happens. Uh, there's a whole bunch of trees outside somewhere that could be cut. All right. Mustache, go ahead and feed a simple meal. I'm going to reorder your priorities here. Number one is going to be plant cut, because I want you... It doesn't matter. 
one dude with a club. We have turrets. I want you to, um... Zebra's fully healed, and they have no infection. Lovely. Uh, I want you... to make yourself like a parka. Oh, nice shot, dude! You hit him in the hand. Oh, my... He's... Oh, God. We got Jude. Well, um, I suppose we should... No, 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 medical bed. I suppose we should try to get him, right? Wooden spike trap, cancel. At least, you know, strip him so we have clothes. In fact, we should strip him so we have clothes. Then we don't have to worry about the tailor's bench at, bench at all. So cancel that. Expand the zone. In fact, give her to the crafting spot as well. Don't expand it out the door. Then it'll just drop stuff on the freaking door and it won't close. All right, Jude. 55 resistance. You are released. However, you are also going to be stripped of your clothing. And then we are going to put on your clothes. We're going to have to feed him, but we have plenty of food right now. We're going to feed him until he uh, gets back on his feet. Well, I mean, it is good training for mustache, huh? One more. There we go. So what do you have? You have a shirt and pants. You should put on the parka. You should put on the toque. And then you should haul nothing else. Because I, I would actually like it if this guy put on his, his clothes again. Oh, look at that. Negative 26 Fahrenheit protection. We've done it. Hi, Zebra. How, how you doing? You want to join? Yes? Yes? 2.9. We should probably haul this stuff out. Especially the knife. I don't want her to have a knife. Haul, please. You can put it on the table. I don't care. Also, clean her room up. I really would like her to, you know, have a good opinion of me. Cramped environment, minor pain, awful prison. That's what you get. That's all you get for now. Colonist banished to death. You know, that wasn't exactly intentional game. All right, mustache. Ooh, wake up. He's got to do a lot of wardening right now. No, nope, he's going to play some horseshoes. <laughs> Imagine waking up naked and a crazy mustache is wearing your clothes and breathing over you. How would you like to join? He bit a man to death. He did bit a man to death. Oh, is a lady. You're not wrong. 